Hello guys, welcome to Nerdy Gaming and for this video we will guide you on how to choose the right PC components especially if you are a beginner or a first time builder but before that don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel we also have a PC store, nerdyabgaming.com where we will help you build the best possible PC that fits your budget So in this video, we will guide you on how to choose the right PC components and provide you tips on different levels. We will consider the beginner, intermediate, and expert levels when building a gaming PC in this video. So when building a gaming PC, what we need is 7 major components to consider. The CPU, the motherboard, the RAM or memory, GPU or graphics card, storage, power supply, and PC case. There are also several factors to consider before choosing the parts. First is the budget. If you know your budget, you can easily choose the parts that will suit the second factor which is the purpose. What is the purpose of your build? Building a PC for family, work or office, gaming, streaming or video editing. Then you will also need to pick the platform you will choose, either you will go for AMD or for Intel. AMD right now is a great choice for people who plan on upgrading their PC later down the line because of their long support for their platform like AM4. If you have the budget, I suggest go for the AM5 platform as it's new and will give you better upgrade path in the future, although the price right now is still a bit high. But for budget PC builders, AM4 is still a good choice and has a lot of upgrade options if you consider building an entry level and planning to upgrade the parts piece by piece. Intel on the other hand is still a great choice right now, especially the newer generations like 11, 12, and 13 gen. The only issue on Intel is they always change their platform after one or two generations, so in the future if you plan on upgrading, you might have to replace your CPU and motherboard, most likely the RAM as well if you will transition uh, to DDR5 platform as well. So for the CPU, there are a lot of options to choose from if you're planning on building a sub $500 build. APUs or CPUs with integrated graphics are good options like Ryzen 3 3200G, Ryzen 5 5600G or Intel i3 or i5 CPUs without the F in their model name. So those CPUs are a good choice if you only want to play esports titles like League of Legends or Valorant. But if you plan on building a decent game PC with streaming or video editing in mind, 6 core CPUs like Ryzen 5 or Intel i5 are a good option. For the motherboard, a lot of people tend to overspend on this part, so make sure to buy the motherboard with the feature you really need like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, overclocking capability, and of course CPU upgrade compatibility. So when choosing the motherboard, you will always make sure it is compatible to the CPU that you will buy. Always consult the manufacturer's website for the list of supported CPUs or ask a trusted PC expert to avoid unnecessary errors when buying the motherboard. For AM4 platforms, it's really easy to choose from if you plan on building a budget gaming PC, A320, B450, or A520 chipset. Most of these chipset offers good value and packs quite a few features like Wi-Fi and sometimes Bluetooth if needed. So for Intel, there are a lot of motherboards to choose from and compatibility is a major issue on this part. There are H310, H610, B660 and other chipsets that corresponds to the generation you are in. So again, always check the CPU support page of the motherboard to make sure your Intel CPU is compatible to the motherboard you will buy. For overclocking needs, if you want to squeeze more FPS, better features or better upgrade path, Higher chipset of the motherboard with decent price like the old X370, B550, X570 for AM4, or B650 and X670 for the newest AM5 platform. Intel is also the same but Z590 is a good value right now with a lot of features and overclocking capability. Newer chipsets like B660, Z690, B760, and Z790 are also good chipsets for upgrade path but still at a little bit expensive right now. So for the RAM or memory, there are a few tips I can provide here. If you're building an APU system, focus more on speed rather than the size of the RAM. 
2x8GB, 3200MHz or 3600MHz are a good spot for APUs like Ryzen and Intel CPUs with integrated graphics. Size and speed also matters if you're building a gaming PC for AAA games, streaming and video editing. 16 GB is usually good but if you have the budget, 32 GB might be the sweet spot. Last tip is always go for dual channel memory. This feature provides better game performance and increases the bandwidth of the RAM. So if you're building a budget gaming PC, for example 8 GB, then go for 2x4 GB RAM stick if you don't plan on upgrading it anytime soon. If you have the budget, usually I would recommend getting 2 sticks of 8 GB, a total of 16 GB, regardless if it is budget or intermediate build. So for the storage, nothing really fancy about this, but with the price going down right now, and every SSDs are cheap, going for 500 GB M.2 SSD or 2.5 inch SSD are the best option to put your OS and most used applications. Just make sure that if you're choosing an M.2 SSD, your motherboard supports it and check the M.2 SSD if it's an M.2 SATA SSD, PCIe Gen 3 M.2 SSD or PCIe Gen 4 SSD because this will matter in terms of speed and compatibility. Lastly, getting a 3.5 inch HDD is still a good choice especially for people who want to store large files just for backups or games. In this component, most likely 50% of your budget will go here. If you're building an APU, you don't need to consider buying a graphics card, but if you have at least a thousand dollar budget, then getting a dedicated GPU is the best way to go. But it doesn't mean you will go overboard in getting this GPU, you also need to consider Battleneck. Battleneck is where you have a powerful GPU and you won't be able to fully utilize all those FPS because you have an entry level or intermediate CPU. Usually having a 6 core CPU will give you more options for GPU like RTX 3060, 3070 or the new RTX 4070. You can either opt for AMD or NVIDIA. Both brands in the GPU market have their own pros and cons. NVIDIA provides more compatibility but AMD provides better value so it's up to you on what to choose in this part depending on your purpose and budget. So for the power supply, power supply is one of the most crucial components you can achieve out. Always choose a trusted brand like Be Quiet, Seasonic, or Share, APS, and other certified brands for safety purposes. Also make sure to consider the efficiency of the power supply and the wattage compatibility of your system. You can use vpcparkpicker.com to compute and build your own list or ask an expert like at nerdbeatgaming.com. Golden rule on power supply, it's better to have extra wattage than low wattage in your PC. For example, if you're building an APU system without a dedicated GPU, usually it ranges 400 to 500 watts. Having a dedicated GPU, usually it ranges 550 to 750 watts for mid-range PC. Of course, if you have a high-end system, it may go up to 850 to 1000 watts. Efficiency rating is also a thing to consider like 80 plus white, gold, platinum, or titanium, but this is for expert levels, so always consult an expert or do a thorough research for high-end builds. All in all, don't opt for Chinese brands or unknown brands that promote true rated power supply as it's fire hazard and could harm your system in the long run. Consult an expert or check the power supply you're buying if it is listed here in the clearresult.com, a website that lists all power supply with 80 plus certification. Last but not the least is the PC case. A lot of people tend to overspend on this part and neglect the purpose of this component. There are a lot of PC pieces with great aesthetics, high value price, and tons of features for easy PC build. But the most important thing is the airflow. Always check and research on YouTube for the airflow of the case. Usually mesh front panel cases are good if you're building a budget 500-1000 PC build. There are a lot of cases with mesh front panel and also includes case fans which is good value for your build. You also need to check the size compatibility of your CPU cooler if you have a dedicated one and the size of the GPU if it will fit your case. 
Also, the size of the motherboard is important. If you have ATX or Micro ATX, you need to check if it can support those sizes. We will not discuss the ATX build because most of its parts are expensive, tricky, and a bit advanced for beginner builds. So I hope you learned something on this video on how you can choose the right PC components. I know the explanations are quite broad especially for beginner builds but those factors are some of the most important things when choosing your PC parts. You can also check our website for more PC build or the link below for our sample $500 or $1000 build. If you want to build your own gaming PC, office PC or new to building your PC and wanted to have a custom built PC, you can contact nerdygaming.com for expert advice and builds. We also help people learn so don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips like this. See you in the next video.